Coach Jobim, congrats. The Vienna Capitals beat Cardano 5-4 after penalty shootout. How was the game from your point of view? Good game. First period, we played extremely well. I thought we were hungry, we were on the puck. And then they started, uh, in the second, we started taking penalties. That got us in trouble. That killed the momentum a little bit. Uh, Grad now, they have a good power play. But then we were able to get back with the lead. And, uh, you know, in the third, uh, we're missing quite a few guys. So in the third, I, I felt a little fatigued, but we stayed, uh, we stayed focused. And unfortunately, we took that late goal. But, uh, you know, we found a way to win. That's what I love about tonight. And uh, it's a good team we played. And, uh, you know, I thought the guys showed a lot of character. Coach, the positive side is we saw a lot of quality scoring chances. The negative side is there was some defensive situation where the team looked not that strong. Would you agree on that? Well, we're missing like uh, Brocklers and Kuma, and uh, these are two, two very strong D. So I think it, it was a matter of fatigue. Uh, we, um, you know, obviously we need to play well defensively. We need to, we're going to practice this and, and, and get better at it. But I like the fact that we did a lot of good things with the puck. And, um, you know, we, if we can stay out of the box and play five on five hockey, we'll be fine. Four games in the Champions Hockey League is in the books. Uh, how would you summary, summarize it? Well, I think first game was definitely not our best game. We, we didn't play well. I wasn't happy with that one. But, uh, you know, from uh, the two games against Chip and the game tonight, we competed really hard. And so uh, there's a lot of positive, even though we didn't put up like many, many wins. I thought we played well. And, but now we're going to start our season and get ready for the next chapter, and I'm sure we're going to be good. Um, in, the, uh, in the Champions Hockey League, there are still the games against Zug. Uh, what, what, will, what will you be looking forward to it? Do you still want to reach the goal to go into the, the knockout stage? For sure, for sure we want to move uh, forward in the Champions League. Uh, we understand it's going to be tough. Uh, but to be honest, for now, our focus, uh, the game is done. We're going to, until midnight, uh, you know, think about the Champions League and then it's over for us. We're, uh, we're going to think about game one on Friday. Friday, game one in Fehavo. What are the points where you say that uh, you, had, you have to improve? What are the points that you're looking forward to? Well, I want us to give uh, no more than two goals against in every game. You know, we want to be a strong defensive uh, team. And uh, I have a feeling that the guys are coming back now. The, the work ethic is there. So we're just going to go out there, play our way, uh, the, the, the Caps way, and, uh, you know, play hard and do our best. Do you feel it already that you are the champions, that you're now the hunted? Well, I think, you know, like the fact that we won last year, obviously everything will, uh, will be ready for us. And, uh, but, you know, I can't control what they're doing. I can only control what we're doing on our side, and I can guarantee you we're going to be ready to go. Dominik Hackel, herzlichen Glückwunsch. Die Vienna Capitals besingen in der Champions Hockey League gerade nur mit 5 zu 4. Wie war denn das Spiel aus deiner Sicht? Ähm, ja, ich denke, wir haben im ersten Drittel gut gespielt. Es war wichtig, dass wir das erste Tor gleich geschossen haben. Und ja, eben, wie gesagt, das erste Drittel war gut und im zweiten haben wir dann eben nachlassen. Und da sind uns halt dann eben die Strafminuten in die Quere gekommen. So im dritten auch noch ein bisschen. Aber mein Coden hat ein gutes Bauble gespielt, haben wahrscheinlich verdient die Tore geschossen, aber ich meine, wir waren selbst schuld, wir haben halt zu viel Strafen genommen und das macht dann halt auch ein Team schwach und nimmt dann halt das Momentum auch noch weg. Du hast es angesprochen, das erste und das dritte Drittel, besonders die letzten zehn Minuten waren sehr stark. Im Mitteldrittel und in den ersten Minuten vom, Le vom letzten Drittel hat es eine Schwächeperiode gegeben. Erklärung von deiner Seite? Ja, wie gesagt, wir haben einfach viel zu viele Strafminuten genommen. Ähm, das macht einfach ein Team schwach und ich glaube, deswegen haben wir dann einfach auch ein bisschen einen Hänger drin gehabt. Und sie haben dann halt das Momentum auf ihrer Seite gehabt, weil sie eben doch dann ähm, zwei Tore, glaube ich, geschossen haben im Bauble. Und ja, also ich glaube, dass das dann eher schon der, der große Grund war, wieso wir einfach nachlassen, will ich jetzt nicht sagen, aber wieso wir halt einfach nicht mehr so gearbeitet haben wie im ersten Drittel, weil doch halt jeder müde wird durch die Strafminuten. Vier Spiele in der Champions Hockey League sind jetzt absolviert. Wie schaut denn dein persönliches Fazit aus? Um, das erste Spiel gegen, gegen Jeveschkala war nicht gerade unser Bestes, würde ich mal sagen. Das zweite war sehr gut, da haben wir schon viel besser gespielt, wir sind viel mehr am Körper gegangen und das haben halt die Finnen nach zum Spielen begonnen. Das Ergebnis war halt dann doch nicht auf, auf unserer Seite, aber ich glaube, wir haben positive Dinge von, von den Finnland-Spielen eben nach jetzt zu dem Spiel gegen Groden mitgenommen und ich glaube, allen in allem ja, soll es passen. Am Freitag beginnt die erste bank eishockey liga die Ebel, die Operation Titelverteidigung. Spürst du eine Änderung, weil heuer seid ihr die Großen gejagten? Ähm, ja, 
die Saison fangen jetzt an, es geht alles wieder von Null los und ich glaube, schön, dass wir letzte Meister geworden sind, auf jeden Fall, aber das, das zählt jetzt gar nichts mehr. Jetzt sind wir eben, wie du gesagt hast, dem, glaube ich, halt mal die Gejagten und müssen wir sicher jedes Spiel wieder voll ratteln und dann werden wir schauen, was rauskommt. Gibt es Ziele, die du dir selbst gesteckt hast für diese Saison? Ja, also ich will so viel wie möglich spielen. Ich will im Training mein Bestes geben und eben dann schauen, dass ich zu meinen Einsatzminuten komme in der Liga. Tell about the congrats. The Vienna Capitals beat Grado in the Champions Soccer League 5-4. How was the game from your point of view? Uh, it was a good one for us. I think we carried over some momentum from our uh, last game against Finland there. And um, we maybe didn't have some of the goals go in or, uh, you know, the bounces go our way uh, against Yip there. But uh, for it to go our way tonight was exciting. And, and for us, it's going to be good to carry that into our season and then also into our next Champions League games, get a little com confidence, uh, just knowing that we, we can get a win out of, out of these games and, and uh, give ourselves a shot, hopefully moving forward, that we might uh, still have a chance to move on to the next round. 5-4, you scored two goals, two very important goals. How was it for you? Uh, it's exciting. Um, I was pretty frustrated the last game that I didn't have a couple of my chances go in, but that's how hockey goes and that's how sport goes in general. You're going to get some chances and I, I guess some, what some of the guys were telling me is that uh, as long as I'm getting the chances, that's the important thing. So it was nice to see some of them go in and some nice plays by my teammates to help me get there. So uh, in the end, we're, we're just excited to uh, get in the win column, I guess. Four games in the Champions Hockey League are gone. Uh, how would you summarize it? Uh, maybe a slow start. That that road trip for us was uh, was a tough one. Uh, we tried to get some, I guess, take some uh, learning experiences from that and uh, move it into these games at home. Um, for us, there was a lot of travel, and that's no excuse. There's a everyone has travel and all that, but it was it, that was tough on us, and we go into different rinks. And I think for for us, we we just weren't really in our groove yet. And uh, to learn from some of our mistakes was important and then carried over into just getting, getting back to playing the right way. And I think we did that in our home games. And, and that's important for us as we move into our season uh, in the ABLE where we know we can you know, be rolling and, and just get our, get our groove back. On Friday, as you said, the ABLE season is starting. Um, you are now the hunted as the champion. Uh, did from your, for you personally, did that something change for you? Did that, the, did that change the approach to the games? Uh, for, for the season? Uh, so m moving into this season, uh, we know that um, you know, we're, we're the champs from last year, but uh, things, things change for, for a new year. So although we, we won last year, um, it, it resets completely. So for us, we're, we're looking to do the same thing as we did last year, but that doesn't mean it's going to come easy. So. We've got a lot of work to do and it's a long season and we know that and, and it all starts on uh, Friday night where we're, we're going to hopefully hit the ground running after uh, a couple strong efforts in the Champions League here but it's a long season and, and we, we know that uh, to duplicate the season we had last year is going to be really tough but um, at the same time we've got so many guys coming back that we're excited for the challenge and, and we really like our group of guys, our coaching staff, our organization and it's just an exciting time you know when you when you win a championship you have a bond and, and to carry that over into uh, a following season where we have so many people uh, that we're just you know so tight it's it's an awesome feeling and it's great to be back so we're looking forward to it final question was the champions hockey league the, in the perfect preparation for the able yeah it's it's tough um, in some ways it's good in some ways it's hard because you go from maybe a few weeks of training camp right into games that really matter and and uh, it's it's not uh, it's not like they're exhibition games you're going into high level uh, high compete games and and yeah it does get you ready but maybe a little more abruptly than you expect right off the bat so um, for us we we just uh, keep building and and uh, and take that into our season where um, although it was hard and, and we fought in some close games and maybe lost some as well um, it's just learning experiences and it's getting better day by day so that's the biggest thing that Serge is talking about is just playing playing the right way and and in the end if we're doing more good than bad then it's going to go our way